and that's about as close as we're gonna get to it that turkey is hot right now but as you can see that's a good way to burn paint off makes the paint a lot easier to get off of there and we're not going to go getting that smoke it burns that propane smell you know the smell in propane is added so that you know if you've got a leak it's called mercaptan and we all know how it smells and we don't want that on our pig or ribs or brisket whatever we're cooking so eh, it's the way a redneck does it all right here's an update we burned it out yesterday and after that i went ahead and made the smoke stacks this morning i cut the holes out cleaned those up a little bit will the smoke stacks on there and then we're going to get a handle on that door so that we can lift the darn thing up without putting that screwdriver in there. Because I'm going to lose a finger doing that. You can see that paint is burnt pretty good. We can probably sand that off with the little DA sander and get to going. You're going to have to plug all these holes on top. I haven't figured out quite how I want to do that yet. Make it look good. But we're getting there. And I'm glad I wasn't filming when I brought the tank back in yesterday because it kind of got away from me. Fell off the forks, rolled off of there. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Didn't break anything, didn't run any equipment over, so it's all good in the neighborhood. I'll come back and we'll we'll do a little welding on that turkey. So as you can see. We got smoke stash. Woo -hoo. Gotta have a place for the smoke to go. You want it on the meat, but it's gotta go somewhere, so that helps you control your draft. And been laying on the dirty floor. I'm gonna show you what uh, we do to help with that draft right here. We'll do a little real-time welding, let you see some stuff once in a while. So what we've got there is that one smoke stack. And we made these little guys to go on top of that smokestack. What that allows you to do is control your output. Input's important too, and we'll work on that. But output, this makes a big difference. It, it helps you fine tune that heat, which is kind of critical. Once you get it set, if I build this one as good as some of the other ones I've built, should not be a problem. But let's get that one welded on there and we'll see how it looks. Eyeballs. Vertical down isn't the strongest weld in the world, but this has got to be very strong, so. It's a lot easier than vertical up with a mid to me.
Well, I didn't leave myself much of a nub there to put something in there to keep her from blowing away. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I have some ideas. So there, you gotta watch me weld a little bit. We'll come back and uh, I think next we're gonna maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll work on building the rack. Or maybe we'll start working on the framework for the trailer. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't go into this with much of a plan. Because usually I deviate from the plan and then I feel bad because I changed the plan. So it's the way it works in Hudsonville. Apparently you guys aren't the only folks watching. Pretty cool critters. Yeah. Hope she's enjoying watching. We're he. I don't know how you can tell. Hey everybody, we're back. So, we're going to finish this one off. Make it a short video. I just want you to notice. That, that phony beard thing I was growing. It's gone. Most of my goatee, it's gone. I burned it off yesterday when we were cooking that thing out. Yeah, Dana won't say anything, but I think she's happy about it. So, here's where we got. We had to break the TIG welder out, which I'm not a very good TIG welder, but I, I get it done. It's not always pretty. We made a handle. Out of stainless. That's why we had to break the TIG welder out. I ain't any stainless wire. I don't do a lot of stainless, so... That turkey will go, uh, say right in there, somewhere. And then we'll have to figure out how we're gonna uh, weld stainless to carbon. I think I got some TIG wire back there that'll work. Yeah, TIG welding, love it. But we'll wear out a couple grinder discs, cleaning that all up, making her look good. What else did I do while we were gone? Probably not a whole lot. I had a few distractions. But yeah, smoker. It's coming along. Don't look at the mess, but you know, over there, yeah, you can't see it. There's an axle. Got the tires. Out there in the truck, we got some steel. Got to get that unloaded. Wow, that's a bad, can't even see me. There we go. Now you can see me. Y'all have a good Sunday. It's going to be late when I get this posted, so have a good Monday too. Have a good Labor Day. Enjoy it. Remember to uh, be kind. Love everybody. First, you got to love yourself, and that's the hard part. You work on that, the rest of it's all a breeze. So, hey, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Got a new subscriber since the last video. Appreciate that. I'd say his name, but I can't remember it right now, so I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the video somewhere. I do appreciate all the subscribers. We're I think we're up to 80 now. That's not bad. I enjoy doing them. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Be safe. Love y'all. Figured out how to do a live recording right off the Mac here. So uh, hey, I know I've missed some of you guys. One day I'll figure out how to uh, get all your names, see who all my subscribers are. Somebody out there that knows how, hit me up, tell me. But uh, I appreciate all of y'all. I, I don't want anybody to feel left out. Uh, hey, love y'all. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. Have a good one.